Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Uh, today we're going to talk about this uh, Henning Group uh, holster mount. And we're getting rid of the Ben Stoger boss mount. So these are gone. We're done with these. So um, for multiple reasons, which I will not get into. Anyway, um, so this is what you get when you get it. It comes in this little package here. And this is made by Henning Group. I'll put a link to it in the description for you guys. Uh, but you basically get this thing here and they send you your two um, Allen keys, but they also send you a really nice one. They send you this uh, bond hus or whatever it is, bond house or whatever. Um, it's a 964 ths uh, and then they give you the regular, this regular smaller one. Um, and then you get this. Now, this part here uh, connects onto here. So uh, the nice part about this is let's say you have a holster sitting around and you wanted to swap out holsters on your rig. Well, you can buy just this piece and this piece together. Okay. So. Uh, what you do here is we'll just unscrew this really quick. So uh, it's really nice they give you the nice uh, screwdrivers here too. So um, so this is on a Picatinny rail, which is really neat. Okay, so let's say you wanted to just switch out, you know, one gun for another. You, this thing here, which is mounted on here like this, uh, you can just buy this piece. You know, these two, these basically these three pieces, all connected as one. And then you would just take uh, your holster, which would be connected to this, and then you just slide it on the Picatinny rail, uh, which you already have set up from your, you know, previous gun or, or however you want it. And you just slide that on, and then it's a Picatinny rail system, and then you just slide your uh, bolts in here uh, once you get it set. And then you could have a whole brand new holster on there for a whole new gun. So it only takes literally that much time to swap it out and put a new one in. So you just tighten it down and keep this in your bag, you know, if you want to. This does most of your adjustments on here. It really does all your adjustments. Really all you're gonna use this little one for is mounting it with these uh, two straps in the back. So now this one has these extra cushions. I bought these extra cushions on here. So you don't have to, this is 30 bucks extra, but I figured, you know what, I'm gonna buy them anyway. The problem that I didn't like about the Ben Stoger one was this one, you know, bites into your side after a while and, and, and hits you down there. So I got that, I got these plastic pieces here. So it came, they came completely installed on there. Now you don't have to buy these if you don't want to, but they go on there and then that way it's not going to rub against you, you know, rough metal onto your side. Um, you're going to get just the, the plastic rubbing there. So I got the plastic inserts for 30 extra bucks. So, um, so what's really nice about this is, so this part here goes on to your, uh, your three hole design, and then this mounts on here like this. Okay. So we get that mounted on there like that and I'll mount it on in just a minute. The nice thing is all of these screws come with these, these lock washers on here. So you don't really need Loctite on there Just screw them down and those washers will hold it in place. Okay. So the neat thing about this uh, one here is, you know, here I've got it installed on my main rig. So this is my main, uh, this is my 40 cal setup here. So you can kind of see it there. And it does go a little further down too, which is nice. It goes a little further down than the Ben Stoger does. So, uh, you know, at least an inch, which is nice. So I can get a little extra, you know, deeper grab on it, uh, which I like. Um, and then you can kind of see here from behind, you can see those two plastic pads. That's what's going to be rubbing, you know, because here's this is forward on it. So you can kind of see uh, here. So now what's nice about this thing, uh, this uh, whole setup, this whole system, is that you can take uh, here, so you can loosen up these three here. And what happens is, uh, we'll loosen them up real quick. And then what happens here is then you can adjust the, uh, 
I would call this uh, adjusting it forward and aft. Uh, I don't know if you want to call that tilt or if you want to call that, I guess you could almost call that caster. Because uh, camber would be, you know, this way. And yeah, camber would be this way, caster would be this way. If you're adjusting the axis of it, this would be camber. But anyway, you can adjust it like this however you want to. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can go one extreme or the other. It doesn't have to lock into this bottom piece here like that. It's not really locking, it's just guiding it through. So you could, you could, you have all that kind of movement forward or backward. So that's full back, that's full forward. Um, so you have that much adjustability and the, uh, what I would call caster uh, for those guys who are automotive uh, guys. Um, and then, you know, mine are vertical, so I just lock mine in vertical. But again, this is the, this is the thing that you use, and they send this to you, which is really nice. Um, so, and then you just lock them down, and they all have those star lock washers in there, so you can adjust that. Um, you can also adjust uh, here at the top, you can see these here, these nuts here, okay? So that'll adjust your out or in away from your body so you can angle it out and away this way to uh, your, your body, however you wanna do it. Uh, and then when you screw this on, you can see the holes here. So this hole here, you got a round hole in the top and an oval hole in the bottom. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to go this way with it. So you can angle it out. Now, I don't know about you, but when mine's hanging on my belt, it's hanging a little inward. So now I can adjust it outward so that when it is hanging down, it's at least gonna be vertical. So that's a really nice adjustable feature. Um, this is just a fantastic system that I, I really can't even believe. Uh, luckily I found it, I was going through a magazine and actually saw this and I said, hey, you know, this is, and this is their T1000 version uh, in red um, from Henning Group. And now they're not cheap, uh, they're 150 without the plastic pads, with the plastic pads they're 180 uh, a pop. But again, you know, how often are you going to be ordering these things? Pretty much never. Now, if I ever had a malfunction on my gun, I would have had to replace that whole Ben Stoger setup with a different holster. It would have been a pain in the neck. Here, all I have to do is literally unscrew these two bolts back here, slide it off the Picatinny rail, slide the new one on the Picatinny rail, and go. I'll be ready to go in, in under five minutes if I had a malfunction and had to swip, swatch out, uh, switch out my holsters. So... Uh, you know, again, a really, really nice setup. Let me just show you this really quick. So we're gonna just mount this uh, on here really quick. So uh, they come in all sorts of colors, which is really neat. Uh, and again, you know, the Henning Group is the kind of group that really thinks through their stuff. I, I don't know that Stoger really does. I, I don't, I mean, I, there's just really no adjustability at all in that uh, Stoger model. And, you know, it, with the competition, you know, competition breeds, uh, you know, bettering your product. So um, maybe this will give them some incentive to make some changes to it. But anyway, this is uh, here, this is how you'd mount it on there. Now it does sit a little bit more further forward than your previous uh, model or whatever you had on there. I don't know, you know, whatever. So whatever you may have had on there before, I don't know. But uh, so anyway, see, so that allows you to adjust. So you've got this adjustability. So that's a lot of adjustability. I mean, look at how much you get there. That's full travel. That's a lot. And then you can loosen these two up and adjust it this way with a tremendous amount of travel. You can set it up for right or left side. It doesn't matter. Um, I had mine preset from the factory to be uh, right-handed because I'm right-handed. Um, and then these all have those washers on them, so you don't need any Loctite. You don't have to worry about it. And then you, you just tighten them down uh, when you get them where you want them. And then you would just mount it to your belt. Now, this does mount to Lynx belts. Uh, if you have the Lynx belts, like I did a review on before, so these do mount to the Lynx belts. You can, it'll mount directly over one plate of the Lynx belt from Double Alpha. Or if you're finding you're getting some flex, you can link it over the joint of two Lynx belts, two of the Lynx belts, to give you a little more rigidity. So if you're having trouble with that. 
Uh, so these do fit the Lynx belts from Double Alpha. I don't have the Lynx belt. Well, I do have a Lynx belt, but I, I use that for my PCC. I'm just too stubborn and I just, I don't want to leave this style belt just because I like it so much. Um, but again, here's your installation in there. You can see, you just put your two straps over just like you would, you know, anything else and tighten them down with that small, um, small Allen wrench. This is the only thing that you use this small one for that they give you. So you just tighten them down there and that's it. So uh, I got this in red and like I said, a tremendous amount of adjustability, uh, absolutely gorgeous, uh, not super heavy. I would say not any heavier, well, maybe a little bit heavier than the Stoger ones, but these are absolutely incredible, um, absolutely fantastic system. Um, I've already done some draws with it. I've already done some dry fire practice with it. Um, and already kind of tweaked my setup a little bit. So uh, what's nice is, you know, once you get this set, all you have to do, like I said, is pull these two screws out, drop it off, put a new one on, and you only have to buy this, these three pieces here, which is nice. You only have to buy, you know, this stuff here that's connected to the holster. You don't have to buy the whole thing. And this is only 80 bucks for these three pieces. So for 80 bucks, you could swap out, you know, you could use one rig and swap out you know, for uh, your production or swap out for your limited or whatever you want to do, um, you can swap it out. Uh, so really a tremendous amount of adjustability. Uh, my hand clears in here just fine. Like I said, big, beefy, meaty hands. So my hand clears it just fine. I mean, you can see right there how nice that is. I mean, I have no problem getting my hand in there, you know, plenty of room away from it. Plus with limited division, I get the full, you know, that full, uh, card gauge that they use uh not the not the width wise but the length wise i get uh for limited division uh those guys in carry optics uh they have the the side version you know the width of it i get the length of it so still plenty of room in here for me to get my hand in you know i've been using it for dry fire it works fantastically uh, so really just a an absolutely neat um uh, thing for um to replace my Ben Stoger stuff. Um, that way I don't have any Ben Stoger stuff on any of my equipment anywhere. So, uh, and uh, this went on super easy. So, oh, and you do use a small, I'm sorry, you do use a small uh, Allen key for these too. So to mount it to the holster itself. It comes in three hole and it comes in uh, other, uh, the other side, the most common one are these three holes, the blade tech, I think they call it. So, uh, but it comes in different hole patterns depending on what your holster is. But there you go, that's the Henning Group uh, holster hanger. And uh, throwing my Ben Stoger stuff in the trash and starting to use this. This is a, just a lot nicer setup and worth the money, I think. So, thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading.